Despite having reviewed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of gadgets, I'm actually a relatively simple person in real life. I've been rocking the same laser printer since 2008. This monitor, which I use daily, is now five and a half years old, and I still use Wii Fit to work out. Granted, I did splurge on Wii Fit Plus back in October of 2009, but I really considered that more of an investment in my near-perfect body more than anything else, so the thought of spending any meaningful money on something like this is frankly foreign to me. This is about $1,000 worth of the BedJet V2 Dual Zone Climate Comfort System with Biorhythm Sleep Technology and BedJet Air Comforter Sheet Accessory 100% Cotton, which comes free with the Dual Zone System. The basic idea is that the bed jet blows hot or cold air into the bottom of your bed, letting you climate control your sheets. More on that in a bit. <laughs> Did you see that? Setup is easy, I'd show you how I did it, but my bedroom is only marginally larger than my actual bed, and I figured that, even with my Wii Fit chiseled body, you might prefer to watch this fetching young lady set this thing up. You basically slide the hose bracket between your mattress and box spring, connect the hose at the mattress level, and then slide the bed jet underneath. You can stop right there, which will cost you $400 for a single bed jet, or you can add a second bed jet to the other side of the bed like I did here. If you were to buy the system one bed jet at a time, you can just let the jets blow into the bottom of your bed under your sheets. But if you buy them as a set, you get this special top sheet thrown in that each jet slips into for better heating and cooling. It costs $139 on its own for a queen size or $159 for a king. So all in for a king size bed, we're talking just shy of a grand. Does it work well? It's gotta work well better work well. It works well. And I say that as a guy that hemmed and hawed over spending 30 bucks on Wii Fit Plus. The biggest selling point is being able to control two jets independently in a two-person setup or to let one finicky sleeper get their levels all set up without affecting the other person. So if you run hot and your partner runs cold, this is worth looking into. The included remotes are good for basic operation, but you'll really want to pair your phone with your respective bed jet to get the full experience. With the bed jet app, you can set more precise temperature levels, you can save settings, you can run built-in programs such as, ooh, desert breeze. And you can even use the bed jet as an alarm to wake you up in the morning. Overall, yes, it's expensive, but I have a feeling that this may just be a bridge device in its current form with the ultimate long-term goal to have the technology be built directly into mattresses or even box springs in the future. So, whatever the case, it works well. It works well in the winter when it's cold, it works well in the summer when it's hot, it works well all around. Once you hone in on your ideal settings, you'll find that you do sleep more soundly, and the free app includes a lot of nice extras like enhanced settings and firmware updates for the bed jet itself. On the downside, it can get noisy at high levels. If you have a lot of heavy blankets on your bed, you'll notice it only heats or cools the lower half of your body, and it takes some getting used to over the first couple weeks. You'll bump into it, you'll notice it's sticking out the side of your bed, that kind of stuff. Once you get used to it, though, you won't notice it as much. Pricey? Yep. Nichey? Kinda, yep. Especially in its current state, you'll have to hide under your bed or use a vertical stand if your frame is too low, that kind of stuff. But if you're looking to leverage technology, for a more efficient and better night's sleep, this thing's definitely worth a closer look if you're willing to part with the cash. Still going. <laughs> oh. My coworkers are gonna see this.